In medicine, doctors talk a lot about treatments, but rarely do we talk about cures. Well, now gene therapy is offering the potential to actually cure certain diseases. We take a look at how this experimental breakthrough could one day help blind patients see. Six-year-old Andy Moorhead is learning how to read, but instead of using his eyes, he's using his fingers. I read letters with my fingers. Oh. Andy is blind. He was around nine months old, and um, he started to notice his eyes were, were twitching, were moving. Andy has Lieber congenital amaurosis, or LCA. It's the most common type of childhood blindness, and it's caused by genetic mutations. It's very hard. It, it's taken us a while to really understand the condition and do everything to help Andy. Andy's whole family is hands-on, even his sister Valerie gives him guidance. But despite their efforts, his mom says gene therapy is their only hope. This is one of the labs where gene therapy is being tested. U.S. scientist Shannon Boy is using a $900,000 grant to perfect a gene therapy that could restore vision. It's not an attempt just to slow the progression of the disease. It's actually an attempt to halt the progression and make the patient better by delivering them the gene that they don't have. Boy says the therapy has worked in animals. We're able to show via an assay called electroretinogram that the retinal function has been restored to these mice. Gene therapy is still an investigational treatment with risks and only available for those in a clinical trial. Right now, there are hundreds of studies underway to treat conditions like LCA, cancer, and HIV. Hey. It's hoped that one day Andy could put down his cane and see his family for the first time. Dr. Boy says gene therapy is typically a one-time treatment. According to the National Institutes of Health, gene therapy in the eye has a good safety record so far, but it's still under study to make sure it is safe and effective.